railway line between Bidar Gulbarga in Karnataka state. Northern Karnataka is all set to wake up to a new dawn as the state nears its formation day. The long-felt aspiration of the people of this region for a railway line to connect Bidar, the confluence of culture and art with Golbarga, the city of heritage and knowledge turns into reality. The new railway line between Bidar and Golbarga, passing through Humnabad and Kamlavur, is being commissioned on this auspicious day at the hands of Sri Narendra Modi, Honorable Prime Minister of India. This new railway line to a length of 110.40 kilometers, sanctioned in the year 1998-1999, has been completed at a cost of rupees 1542.41 crore. Thanks to a hectic pace of work activity undertaken in the last few years. The cost of the project has been shared by the Indian Railways and Government of Karnataka on a 50-50 basis. Phase 1 of the project was completed between Khannapur Humnabad to a stretch of 37.32 kilometers and commissioned for passenger services linking Bidar and Humnabad in December 2013. Phase 2 of the project involved the Gulbarga Humnabad section of 72.40 kilometers, which has been completed during the month of October 2017. With this, the entire Bidar Gulbarga new railway line will see the rail wheels moving for the first time in a very significant belt of North Karnataka. The rail line has 12 new railway stations of Kanaji, Halikhed B, Nandagao, Humnabad, Kalu Road, Halikade Edge, Margutti, Kamlapur, Navadagi, Mahagao, Kurkota, and Sultanpur en route. A total of 259 bridges, including one important and 13 major, have been constructed as a part of new rail line. 13 road over bridges and 51 road under bridges have also come up on the route eliminating the need for railway crossings altogether. The biggest engineering challenge during the construction work was the completion of a 1.7 km tunnel near Margutte, which needed technology expertise and skilled work execution of the highest standards. The new railway line which links the Vikarabad Parli Vajnath section on one side with the Vadi Sholapur section on the other will reduce distance from Bidar towards Bengaluru and Mumbai significantly. Besides opening up the possibility to run enhanced rail services as an alternate rail route to the existing ones in the region. With a sizable concentration of cement and allied industries in the North Karnataka belt, industrial progress is sure going to take a lead. The agri-market economy of the region known for its pulses, sugarcane, dairy products etc will also boom on the basis of seamless transport connectivity to various markets in the country. The Bidar Gulbarga new railway line is not just another link, but also signifies the commitment of Indian railways to serve the people with sincerity and purpose. <laughs>